high fans of 360 degree videos and nature. Join me for a walk in Ribna Dolina, which is located about 5 km behind the village Rajekalasna. Ribna Dolina belongs to the whole Rajeka Dolina. Easy leisure tourism, also suitable for cyclists. In addition to the beautiful scenery, we will also see a flock of mouflons and trout in a small lake. The mouflon, Ovis musimen, is the only wild sheep representative in the European wild. It is the smallest representative of wild sheep and is considered the ancestor of domestic sheep. The mouflon can be 120 sheep to 135 centimeters long rams at the withers it reaches a height of up to 70 sheep to 88 centimeters rams the tail measures 10 centimeters older rams weigh 50 kilograms sheep about 35 kilograms the mouflon beast has horns on its head referred to in hunting as tulche they differ from deer antlers in that they are hollow unbranched the beast does not throw them away, and their origin. They are a product of the skin, such as fur or rattle, and do not have the character of a bone. Large, curved and strongly developed horns are worn only by rams who use them in battles. Horns will stop growing within five years. They are usually up to 80 centimeters long. Females are either hornless or wear small horns, up to 16 centimeters long. The surface of the corners is knurled and the age of the mouflons can be recognized by the notches. It is more powerful than domestic sheep. It has a black-brown coat, to which a woolen undercoat grows in winter. In prehistoric times, mouflons lived on the European mainland, as evidenced by archaeological finds of bones and skulls. During the historical period, after the last ice age, they lived only on the islands of Sardinia and Corsica. The mouflon and its closest relative, the mouflon, Ovis orientalis, have long been domesticated in prehistoric times and became the basis for domestic sheep breeding. According to another theory, however, the mouflon is a descendant of a domestic Neolithic sheep, and in Corsica and Sardinia it was sometime around 9000 BC imported by humans. Only then did he stare back. Proving the true origin of mouflons is quite problematic. Unlike goats, where the shape of the horns is a reliable guide, it is almost impossible for sheep to distinguish wild sheep from animals at an early stage of domestication. From Corsica and Sardinia, the mouflon has already begun to spread throughout the Mediterranean. Apparently the ancient Greeks knew him, he was certainly bred by the ancient Romans, who served his meat at banquets. They also used it in gladiatorial matches. Mouflons later came to Austria and Germany from Italy. Already at the end of the 17th century, Mouflons were bred in the imperial branch in Vienna, from where they probably reached the territory of Slovakia and the Czech Republic. Reports of wild sheep breeding in the Czech Republic date back to the 16th and 17th centuries, but it is not certain whether they were Mouflons or some Asian species, Mouflon sheep, Argali sheep. There is no doubt from the reports from the second half of the 19th century that they were really mouflons. They were first planted near the village of Luboka nad vl Tavu, from there they gradually spread to other areas. Count K. Forgach established the first mouflon breeding in Slovakia on his property in Jelinek, formerly Jims, in the Tribek Mountains in 1868. They thrive best on rocks and stony ground, where they can well grind ever-growing ungulates. In the case of mouflons kept on a soft surface, rats overgrow and cause the animals to bleed. At present, the Czech Republic is a world leader in mouflon breeding. For example, eight of the ten largest mouflon trophies in the world come from the forest plant in Zidlokovis near Brno. Although the exact world numbers of mouflons are not known, approximately 35.8% of the world's mouflon population lives in the Czech Republic. The fact that Mouflon is doing so well in the Czech Republic also has its downsides. Mouflon game is multiplied in many localities and causes significant damage to forest cover and ground vegetation. The Mouflon is not a picky species and eats acid and hard grasses. In the total volume of food intake, grasses make up about 70%, 
tree and shrub leaves about 15% and semi heats about 10%. If it does not find a sufficient and suitable composition of food, it will gnaw the roots of the forest trees or trunks. He thus came into conflict with the economic interests of man. In many areas, there has been a significant reduction or even elimination of mouflons. The mouflon is the opposite of roe deer, not only in terms of food composition. They travel for food, especially during dusk. It is a typical herd species and lives all year round in various numbers, about 20 members, divided by sex, only older rams prefer to live solitary. The basis is a family herd run by an old and experienced female. This female is well recognizable by her white head. The herd guards with great caution. Mouflons have very well developed hearing, smell, and sight and can detect a person at a distance of more than one kilometer. The mouflon mating season takes place in November, sometimes in December. Males engage in fierce battles, in which they hit each other with horns. Cubs are born after about 22 weeks, usually one at a time, sometimes two at a time. Cubs are born not only to all adult females, but even to strong females only one year old. The young are born at the beginning of March and the females mature so physically during the spring and summer that at the end of the year they come into the roar. These females then give birth to the young at the end of June. The voice of mouthlons is similar to the voice of sheep, it is a short bark that indicates a herd that is stretching or grazing from a distance. A sharp hiss is a warning sign of excitement.